I'm Derek Mack. So I'm Chinese. Right now, I live in Hong Kong, born and raised in Hong Kong. And、uh, right now, I'm in、uh, Uber, APAC,、uh, taking as a、uh, regional role of project management. And、uh, I'm studying HKUST MBA、uh, right now. So at the same time, the student ambassador and also the president of MBA Association. So that's why I'm helping the team. I mean, the MBA office. That actually is my pleasure and honor to help. At the same time, to share my story. Uh, to the to order, I mean the shareholders and order the upcoming potential students as well. Yeah. I didn't think in a very detailed way. I'm just thinking, hey, if I'm going to、uh, get an、uh, advanced level of my education, so it should be like in my thirties, early or thirties, right? Before having family or doing like a very mature stuff in、uh, in terms of long term in my, in my life. So I took the MBA. I try to like do some research on what I'm going to do in Hong Kong or in the、uh, other region in the world. So finally, I choose HKUST in Hong Kong. Because、uh, it is the top, the the first. I mean, the, the the number one university in Hong Kong in terms of MBA, and also、uh, the moment is still the number one in Asia right now. Of course,、uh, top three as well. So, and at the same time, I'm I, I'm working with Uber, right? So it's a technology company. So I guess、uh, UST, right? Science and technology. It's all about relevancy. So that's why I'm there and、I、apply, and I got the offer, and I have no doubt to to take the offer. Yeah. That's the journey. Uber supports me in different perspective. First of all,、um, they give me flexible working hour and time、uh, to deal with the homework and also the community uh, uh, responsibility. So right now, I mentioned I'm still the ambassador and also the、uh, president of MBA Association. So I need to commit quite a lot of time there. But、uh, the point is, Uber trusts and uh, uh, trusts me, of course, and、uh, they 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 are willing to develop. I mean, to invest、uh, the time and also resources on me to to finish my MBA. So right now, I'm in the halfway of MBA, and、uh, they also support me during the Amsterdam period、uh, for the coming years. So this is the first.、Uh, I would say support from them. The second one is about、um, the study. I mean, in terms of、uh, um, the support from the、uh, Uber alumni or Uber colleagues that they have completed the HKUST MBA、uh, previously. So I know some friends, and not not only in Hong Kong, but also、uh, all around the globe. So yeah, we got a community there, and they share a lot of、uh, insights about HKUST and also the MBA. So I think. It's a very insightful and very helpful from the company that I will engage and feel grateful to commit my career、uh, in Uber, even in Amsterdam. Yeah, I would say yes for sure. Cause、uh, what I've learned in MBA, first of all, we we learn about like a lot of our strategy and planning. Uh, and that actually, this is one of the key function I'm contributing to the role. And I think the second、uh, key benefit from MBA would be uh, uh, how the business is doing, how we work、uh, as a business owner, right? So in Uber, we always、uh, mention that、uh, hey,、uh, we need to act and think like a business owner, right? So I think this is quite relevant to what I've learned from MBA and also and to contribute back to the to work. When you ask this question, I already come come across with like two or three courses that I have studied and like to、uh, to contribute back to the company or all my work. So I would say there are three courses、uh, in my mind. The first one is technology entrepreneurship. The second one will be IT management, and the third one will be the application of cryptocurrency. Right. So one by one. So starting from technology entrepreneurship. So in the course, I learned a lot of how how the、uh, the business can be started from、uh, starting from my idea to a business proposal, and also how we can get the、uh, fundraising from the、uh, either the angels or the VC. So this knowledge can let me, I mean, to to nurture me to have a、um, entrepreneur mindset to get back to the work and to to I mean to pitch my big bosses or even. Uh, uh, to give it a new idea,、uh, starting from scratch, and、uh, until the rollout or the execution part. So I think this is a very insightful and important 
learning from my from this course. And I think um, the second one was IT management. Uh, that actually is uh, taught by a very uh, famous professor, uh, Professor uh, Jivan. So he's very, he's uh, very, I mean, he got a very um, sophisticated expertise in uh, project management and also IT uh, consulting. So he taught us a lot of how um, the reason um, IT, I mean, the technology, for example, the, the AI, uh, the blockchain, and also all the uh, uh, online trend that can like um, get back to the business uh, as well. So uh, including the project management part, right? So right now I'm the project manager of APAC and at the same time need to leverage on the technology to to optimize the process and also to create a new business opportunity. So that should be the thing I can, I mean, get back to the world. And then I think the last one will be the application of uh, uh, cryptocurrency. So it's not 100% related to my job, but uh, it opens my mind that uh, actually blockchain is also one of the, the the thing that the company would like consider or they they, they don't ignore or neglect about the technology. So uh, still still uh, like a confidential or yeah, I can't mention much, but uh, it's definitely the thing that we can look into in terms of uh, the business opportunity of Uber. So yeah, that's what I learned for the course, get back to the work and do some contribution. Uh, the answer yes, right? So uh, I have been a people manager for quite some of the years, right? So right now I'm still taking care of some of the subordinates. And when I get into the MBA, I, I learn a lot of uh, things, or especially the management style or the, the management uh, uh, philosophy, not only from the courses, but from my friends or the bodies or just the classmates themselves, right? So most of them are from different kinds of backgrounds. Some of them from uh, uh, MNC, the multinational corporates, they are the senior manager or both. And some of them are co-founders, so founders like me. I'm also uh, a startup. I mean, I got two co uh, startup and the co-founder as well. So I learned a lot from them, from their fade six factories. So that I can get back to the work and I mean, I can use it. I mean, use the tactics immediately. I don't need to digest uh, for a long time and learn the theory thing. Yeah, so, but at the same time, of course, MBA um, taught me a lot of uh, like the few, uh, theoretical knowledge as well. So management organization, this course is very insightful, taught us a lot of uh, how we can manage the bias and stereotypes being aware of that and um, to change our behavior accordingly. So this is taught by the uh, superstar professor, Stephen Nason. I need to mention his name. Yeah. <laughs> and I would, would like to thank you, HKUSD, to provide uh, an excellent team of MBA office and marketing and admission team. So they get a lot of alumni and networking events for us to learn and to to contribute back to the community. So when we are talking about learning or contributing, we are not just like a robot that to to uh, uh, to show what we have done or what we have achieved and to share that community. But instead, we we really have a culture. I mean, the HKUSD got a culture that everyone just treat each other as their buddies and uh, uh, colleagues, or maybe and uh, to learn from each other by sharing a lot of fadies as well. So these kind of knowledge is like, they, they cannot be taught in the lesson, right? So uh, and we got a lot of mingling event. We got a lot of uh, chance to meet new people. And the point is um, MBA office, uh, especially teach us a lot of, or inspire a lot of uh, uh, soft skills that we can uh, mingle with a new people, new persons, and to get along with them uh, very quickly and get the trust. So I think this is the first benefit I've uh, experienced from HKUSD office. And I think the second one will be um, the courses outline and also the courses uh, uh, schedule that uh, we are not overloaded because MBA office uh, give us a lot of flexibility for all the courses, especially for the core subject, flexible core subject, and also electives. So we can adjust our time any uh, 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 any any time that we are going to have a difficult time that we can uh, easily adjust. And at the same time, if we got some preference on some of the courses, then if we get, uh, give heads up to them, then they can help us to do it accordingly. Adjust. So it's very flexible to do MBA in HPST, I would say, the second point. So I think my last one will be, uh, of course, uh, professors. So they are very professional. They 
they are very well prepared. Um, so there's one example I need to share. So just now I mentioned Professor J uh, Jivan uh, from IT management. So he really memorized all the names and backgrounds of all the classmates before the first lesson. I would say this is very impressive, right? So when you get to the classroom and um, Professor Jivan already mentioned, hey, you're Derek, you're from Uber, right? Tell us more about the story of Uber, how Uber can can be successful and what is the failure of Uber. So he already uh, did already uh, did, did a lot of research for each of us, not only Derek, for sure, but some of the names I can't mention here. I can't mention that because I can't, I haven't get their concept, right? So, Anyway, yeah, so professor are professionals. So uh, the content itself, uh, of course, some of us already learn a lot from the work, but uh, it's also refreshing for uh, most of us uh, to remind ourselves how to be a good leader, how the technology can be leveraged uh, to, to, to contribute back to the world and also to change the community as well. So I think these three points are, are all, of, all of those three points are my honest thoughts and feelings but not um, uh, just saying something that for HKUSD. So with that, I wholeheartedly thank you, the team, I mean, NBA to give me a chance to share my thoughts and also Rick. Yeah, the talk with Rick, such a good time, yeah. For me, I am not an expert of NBA, but uh, I just want to share my journey and my thoughts on NBA. So uh, NBA itself is uh, challenging, a project, uh, one and a half to two years project, right? And uh, the world keeps changing in this moment. We got COVID, we got new world. So everything is changing. So if we are going to commit one and a half to two years commitment to one specific big project, so it would be a challenging task. So first of all, is we cannot ignore the fact that it is very challenging. First one. Second one is uh, given that it's a challenging hour, but actually it's quite rewarding. For example, the people you you going going to know to learn from the uh, community and all the knowledge and uh, the theories that you learn from the uh, MBA program that actually is quite fruitful. Some of us, for example, uh, um, I, I know there is a classmate uh, who is uh, in the a senior uh, level of uh, an orchestra company, right? It's niche, right? But the point is, uh, MBA can give them, give him or her, I can't say uh, who is he or she, but uh, give her a lot of insight about how to do business. And I really can witness her growth in her career and his or her career. So that would be a very good exp experience for some of us who are lagging of some of the, the puzzle of doing a business, right? Yeah, good thing. And uh, I think good things we know already is challenging, but uh, what would be the advice from me is that uh, it is a very good opportunity for us to to uh, to improve our time management, I would say. So everyone got different priorities. For example, if we got family, we got children, and at the same time, we got startup, we got a full-time job, we got hobby, we got girlfriend, etc. hobby. Um, yeah, we got many things on him, right? But the point is how we can manage them well by doing or, or to completing uh, our milestone effectively and efficiently. So this is a, a broad advice, but I would say that um, I can I can share a little bit more about the example. There is a couple, they are married in MBA, husband and wife, they got a one-year-old son and they still take the MBA and they always got a very high grade, excellent grade as well. So this is an example that, hey, uh, if you've got a family, you've got a kid, it's not saying that you're lagging behind or you are you are having a comparative disadvantage here. But the point is how you can manage your time, how you treat yourself, uh, how, 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 I mean, the, how the standard it is uh, when you are setting uh, the benchmark for yourself. I would say in this way. So in short, it's very challenging, but very fruitful. Of course, you need to deal with your time management. Yeah. <laughs>